So I got the Lightning OTF here. OTF stands for out the front, and today I'll be taking it apart to show y'all how it works. So I have the knife here fully disassembled. This piece right here, we're just gonna kick out of the way. This is just top of the handle that was held together by those six screws. Not too important in terms of how it works. It just looked nice as a tabletop. And this is the pocket clip. Also not important on how this works. But let's start off with the blade and the main frame. As you can see right here, the blade is locked in this open position. I can't push it out, which is a good thing because that would be that would be an entirely different knife. That, I can't pull the blade all the way out, but also stopped from pushing it in. And that's because of this little piece of metal here. It's like a spring pad, but they're called detents. But it's just this piece of metal that has a spring in between. And what that's doing, preventing, is preventing the blade from shooting back into the handle. But if we just push it up, and pull the blade in, you can see, now I can freely move it all the way to the back. And if we focus on this rear one over here, you'll see that it's gonna start to move, it gets pushed down, and then it kicks into place real quick, and now it's preventing the blade from going forward. Now, how do we disengage this rear and then the front detent? Well, we do that with this steel plate. So the steel plate goes on top like this. As you can see, we have a little bit of a, a tab out here, and it's angled, so when this slides forward, you can see it's gonna push that rear detent down, which will then enable the blade to move forward. I'll take that off and set it back in. So this tab, so again, this tab is set right there. It's gonna move forward like so, and back. This is all it's gonna do. Now the, the plate is connected to the thumb slide. So this is the thumb slide. Again, this is a double action OTF, meaning that we can shoot the blade out and then shoot it back in. See, there's a notch set right in there and that fits perfectly on the tab of this plate. And so now you can see we're gonna move that thumb, that thumb slide up and down and that's moving the plate with it, which is then again, pushing those detents down. But now we have the spring. This is the engine of the OTF. This is what gives it its power, its kick. We have a, on the right side, on the right side, we have a longer edge than on the left. Because this larger one is gonna set, is gonna set right behind the blade. And you can see here that the blade has a notch in it. And so that bar is gonna set right in there. This is what's pulling the blade forward. Because before, again, we could just move this plate freely. Nothing's happening to that blade. It's not coming in, it's not coming out. We need something to pull it forward. And this other end, this is where we have the smaller bar attaches to the end of the steel plate. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to, to attach. Now, this always kicks off. I can put it on for just a second, but it's gonna kick off immediately. You'll see when I let this go, just like that. And that's okay. I, I don't want this under tension anyway. So, so for just a second, let's pretend that this is actually cooperating and it's under full tension, right? So the end of this spring is connected to the end of that plate. So now it's under tension. When you put your thumb on that slide and you push it forward, this plate is gonna wanna move forward, right? Like we saw before, it's gonna wanna move forward, which is gonna disengage that rear detent. Now, since this end of the spring is connected to the end of this plate, and this end is connected to the blade, that is going to stretch it out causing even more tension. Once this plate slips past the detent, that spring that was fully stretched out, but it comes straight back together, propelling this blade forward and kicking it all the way out. And boom. That's basically it. Now, how do we go back? That's where this little disc on the blade comes in. It's just a little disc in the blade. Now that helps the blade stay on track. It also helps with retracting the blade. So now we have this end of the spring connected, which is holding on to the, to the plate, but also the blade. When we take our thumb slide and we move it back, this plate is gonna wanna shoot back. But again, we have this bar attached to the blade that's stuck in this position due to the detent. The moment that this angled tab on the plate 
disengages that detent, all that tension gets released and shoots the blade back into its closed position. So that's how the OTF works. I'll go through it real quick again. We have this blade, it's locked in this closed position. You have these two detents with a spring in between. You push it down, the blade's out, now it's in the locked open position. You push this one in, now you can close it. Now how do we disengage those detents without opening the knife? You have this, you have this steel plate, which has a metal tab over here and one on the underside. When you pull it forward and back, it disengages those detents. Now we're able to move that with the thumb slide that's attached to this tab up top. You just move it forward and back, and you can see that plate's moving with it. Now, how does the blade move with the plate? It moves with the spring. The longer side is attached to the bottom of this blade, and the shorter side is attached to the other end of this plate. When we move this plate, this spring is under tension. You have one side attached to the blade that can't go anywhere because of the detent. So the moment that this plate slits that detent, all that tension is released and shoots the blade out, like so. Now the blade is locked in the open position. And in order to shoot it back in, you have this side of the spring that's holding onto this welded disc on the blade. So when we move that thumb slide back, it also moves this plate back which then touches the spring, creating a lot of tension. The moment that tab under this plate disengages that detent, that tension is released and shoots the blade back in. So that was the very fast version on how an OTF knife works. I hope I explained that well, and I definitely hope that some of y'all learned something. Give this video a thumbs up, and until next time, stay safe out there.